What you gonna do? What's up, Quantumaniacs? It, it feels good to be back doing wrestling content. And it's WrestleMania season. And you know what WrestleMania season brings. The Royal Rumble. Now, we think WWE has an opportunity to make this a great show. And by adding some NXT superstars and some legends and a few surprises, we think that this could be possibly the greatest Royal Rumble ever. So today, we present 10 surprises we want in the Royal Rumble. Number 10, Tyson Fury. Now, this is the most up in the air surprise out of all the entries on this list because Tyson Fury is actually preparing for his fight with Deontay Wilder. So him being in the Rumble kind of seems far-fetched. But hey, stranger things have happened. Now Vince has been really interested in a champion versus champion match, and Fury kind of let it slip that he'd be facing Brock Lesnar at Mania. If Fury shows up at the Rumble, business is definitely gonna pick up. Number nine, Nia Jax. Nia Jax made a huge splash last year after showing up in both the men's and women's rumbles. But she tore both ACLs in both of her knees. She's been out of action for a while, somewhere around nine months, which is usually how long it takes to heal from an ACL repair. So hopefully she returns and injects some much needed life into the women's division. Maybe we get that feud between her and Becky Lynch that's long overdue. Number eight, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler will go down as the most dominant wrestler in NXT history. Just pure and sheer domination. The first ever two-time NXT Women's Champion lost her title to Rhea Ripley in December. And as great as a reign as it was, she's got nothing left to accomplish in NXT. So a main roster call-up is necessary so we can finally start building to the horsewomen versus the horsewomen. Oh, I'm so ready for that. Number seven, John Cena. Now, I really, 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 really hate to admit this, but WWE just isn't as good without John Cena there. Now, we don't know how much wrestling Cena has left in his legendary career, but we do know he has one more thing to accomplish, and that's breaking Ric Flair's all-time record. It's been a long time since John Cena was in the ring. The last time we saw him, he got into a rap battle with the Usos. Hate him or love him? Cena deserves to break Flair's record, and on the grandest stage of them all, no less. Now, with a budding Hollywood career on the way, it's time to strike, because who knows how many times we'll see the leader of the C-Nation in the WWE ring again. Number six, Batista. Only do this if he's not going to win the Royal Rumble. The 2020 Hall of Famer finished up his career last year at WrestleMania 35. So what better way to kick off WrestleMania season than putting Blue Tista into the Royal Rumble? I walk for miles inside this pit of danger. Number five, the Velveteen Dream. D-R-E-A-M. Velveteen Dream has been out of action with a serious back injury since September when he dropped the North American Championship to Roderick Strong. Now we don't think going back to NXT would necessarily hurt the Dream, but for what? He's a star and now is a perfect time to let everybody experience the Velveteen Dream. Number four, the Undertaker. It's WrestleMania season, so it's Undertaker season. Now, Taker had a few matches last year, but he didn't even compete at WrestleMania, so maybe the dead man is resting in peace. We keep hearing those Sting vs. Taker rumors, which should not happen. We had a chance, but we didn't get it. But regardless of what happens, if Taker shows up, you know there's no grave that can hold his body down. Number three, Edge. We get this rumor year after year after year after year, and I'm kind of tired of it. But he did spear Elias at SummerSlam, and it's been rumored that he signed a new contract with the WWE. Though Edge denies the rumors, which he's supposed to do, we know he's risking paralysis by wrestling with spinal stenosis. But if things have changed, we can't wait to see the Rated R Superstar back in the ring, and the Royal Rumble is the greatest possible time for him to return. Number two, CM Punk. Since his departure in 2014, Punk had always made it clear that he would never be back in WWE until he showed up on Fox's show backstage. Never say never, I guess. We think it's not a matter of if, but when CM Punk will get back in the ring. Punk's proximity to the WWE has never been closer since he walked away in 2014. So to think that a Rumble appearance or future appearance in the WWE isn't in the question is absolutely insane. Will it happen this year? Will he finally get to main event WrestleMania? 
Will he come back and wrestle? What if we got the Monday Night Messiah versus the best in the world? Oh my God. Number one, Cain Velasquez. Kane made his debut on the first SmackDown on Fox ever. He then lost to Brock Lesnar at WWE Crown Jewel for the WWE title. Brock Lesnar is the number one entrant in the Royal Rumble. Number two, who do you want to see in the Royal Rumble? Join us in the comment section below. Say your prayers and eat your vitamins, kids. We'll see you next time on Quantumania.